Claude were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look. Why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie? You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Listen, you could be in danger. Oh, sweetie, we're all in danger. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff.
What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, this is probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. It's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Jesus, fuck! Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well, what's this? 
Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? No, I don't want to. Fine, I'll hold. Georgie. What's that?
broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for.
the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh... You? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he... He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Bigby? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- STOP LYING TO ME! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- ah! Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! I knew you were sneaking around! Listen to your wife! Just- 
calm down and beast. You don't want to see this. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. We shouldn't even be in here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he marked this page because he likes the sight of a helpless person. It's about power for our Mr. Smith. He likes to be in control. What the hell? Like he can't deal with people when they're awake? That makes him some kind of crazy, insecure, deviant. Maybe he killed her just because she woke up. Jesus. Oh, 
He brought wine. Classy. God. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. What? What are you thinking? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. That freak makes her act out a scene with a fake poison apple, and then he cuts her head off for real. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... I guess it doesn't matter now. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. She must have been so scared. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be strong. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Apparently he enjoys helpless women. That's not going to bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. stalking it doesn't just stop by itself trust me i know about this firsthand he'll keep trying to get closer and closer 
His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good! I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel! Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you?